everybody, my name is G from Hotel Level and today I'm going to show you the No Hotel Bangkok Sukhumvit 4. Look at the level of service that you get from cab. Really fantastic, very good drivers and the car is always clean. I love the fact that it's always hand sanitizer available and it really is a VIP service. This is the food exchange where you will come and have your breakfast every morning. You can also come here for lunch. They brought me quite a bit of food here. So this is actually part of a set which they do here at the Novotel. Uh, it's 350 Thai baht and that includes the tomato soup, Caesar salad, sea bass and the fruit. Thai soups are generally quite watery so it's always a treat when you come to a hotel and have an opportunity to enjoy a real western soup. Yeah, and that tastes exactly the way it should. Really good. And this here is the sea bass which looks really good too and I certainly have a healthy serving of vegetables. Just what I need. The sea bass is nice and chunky and it's seared perfectly. This is the Caesar salad. Word of warning, I'm a big guy and after the sea bass and the soup, I'm already full. In fact, I think I'm going to send this to my room as well as the fruit. This is a banana caramel smoothie which is a refreshing change, really nice. The hotel seems quite busy and there's quite a few cars pulling in here and it's only one o'clock and I can already see quite a few people in the lobby area busy checking in. Um, so just sitting here on the ground floor and looking out the window from the restaurant, uh, I can already see there's a 7-Eleven across the road. Uh, there are a few street, street food vendors out there too. And I remember driving in earlier, uh, I saw quite a few bars from here to the main road. So I'm guessing it's going to be quite vibey here tonight. Well that was great, but I am so full. I think it's time to go out to the pool and go have some Nice, relaxing time. It's not every day you see a hotel corridor this well lit, but I quite like it. They put me on the 21st floor in room 2105, which is a deluxe room with a king bed. Let me show you. Walking into the room immediately, you can see that there's enough space and plenty of natural light. I do like the bed art, that's pretty cool. I believe every room has a mural. In my case, I have tuk-tuks on my wall. I have a comfortable sofa and a reasonably sized work desk. Whoops, and there are the calories. I have a whole little cake to myself and I do like the card which they left with the cake. Signed by one, two, three, four, five people. This room is very functional, neat and spotless. Plus I counted like seven power outlets. There were additional three USB charging ports. Let me show you the view. So I'm looking out onto Soy Sukhumvit 4. That's the road down there. And this is the city view, which I think is the same view as we have from the pool. Tea coffee over here, there is a bar fridge too. Ah, oh, they brought my luggage already. And inside the cupboard over here is the in-room safe as well as the bathrobes. There's also an iron and an ironing board. This is the bathroom. And again, everything looks super clean. Right, I believe I'm ready for some pool time. <laughs> My friendly bomber over your happiness convinced me to try this uh, feather brow. And uh, where is he? Hey, Ness, come say hello. Hello. Check him out, right? He looks like a DJ, doesn't like he? Like huh? and subscribe. Oh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> like and subscribe. <laughs> yeah, that reminds me. Like and subscribe. Oh, shit. You didn't see that, did you? I just spilled my beer <laughs> in my mask. It's quite nice here now. I basically have the whole area to myself. There's just one other guest, like way over there. 
when I came here earlier today, the pool area was was quite busy, but now it's nice and quiet. The staff here at the pool bar seems nice and energetic, and that's always a good sign. It always really helps a person relax more at the pool. And can you hear this? It's really quiet up here. And I'm referring to like traffic and city noise. Don't hear anything. And it's amazing because right over there is a very, very busy road. And then just behind me is Sukumud Road, which is very, very busy. But you can't hear nothing. Down there, the street over here, that is Soy 4. And then over there somewhere is the BTS SkyTrain line. And oh, there we go. You can actually see a train passing right now. So that train is going towards uh, the Central World and CM Paragon shopping malls as well as Grand Palace is that way. And in the opposite direction, on the same line, you'll have uh, the Terminal 21 shopping mall as well as a few other places. And in this area over here, you'll also have Nana Plaza, Soy Cowboy is here too. And Benjakiti Park, a very nice park is that way. And Lupini Park, Probably the most popular park in Bangkok is that way, not too far from here. In fact, you can actually kind of walk there. As you can see, this is a two-brand hotel. So between the two brands, the Ibis Towers and the Novotel, there are a total of 185 rooms. The fitness center is open from 6 a.m. until 10 p.m. and it looks right out onto this beautiful garden over here. The garden is open from 6 o'clock in the morning until 6 p.m. and it's quite nice up here. It's like a little oasis amongst all of the uh, concrete around you. I really would like to show you what it looks like around here. I noticed a few cool bars. Um, there was a restaurant called Dubai something, which seems quite interesting, so definitely go and check that out. Oh yeah, this is the place that I saw earlier, Dubai restaurant. Seems like a cool place. Yeah, there is definitely quite a few bars up here. Uh, as far as I can see, up to the main road. Days and I'm walking down the soy and I ran into a fan over here, Rob, right? Rob. Hey Rob. Hey, how are you doing? <laughs> cool man. So Rob is here on vacation too. Yeah, so that was like pretty cool, running into a fan right here in the streets of Bangkok. <laughs> Love it. Yeah, you see what I mean? There really are many, many, many street food options right over here, right across from the hotel. There it is. Yeah, so I'm guessing that this is what we all come for, this sunset. This view is really incredible and I like the sunset too, it's really beautiful. This is the place to come and chill in the evenings. I cannot remember the last time I've been this excited for an alcoholic beverage, but that is because, oh, thank you. That is because the bartender made me a mango sticky rice cocktail. I've never had one of those before, and here it is. Thank you so much. Wow, this looks beautiful. Look at this. This is a Mojito Sky. It is one of their signature cocktails. However, this is the one I'm most excited about because mango sticky rice is a very famous dessert here in Thailand and this is a mango sticky rice cocktail oh my gosh even smells like it this drink looks so beautiful and check out the little fork this mango sticky rice has a very smooth taste I can taste coconut in there um, the mango I can also taste here yeah, with like a hint of the sticky rice itself which is quite sweet uh, yeah really really awesome drink Delicious. And let's check out the Mojito Sky. So it's a different color to what I know Mojitos to be. Mm -hmm. 
Ooh, there's mint in here. Okay, so here we go. Smooth drink and refreshing drink. So I'm going to stop acting clever and just read from the menu. Over here we have the guacamole and crispy tortilla, uh, guacamole over there and we got some bell peppers like a mixed vegetable kind of thing going on over there. Uh, this over here is the spinach and cheese quesadilla, looks good. And over here this is a chicken Caesar roll and it comes with a Caesar sauce. So let's try the Caesar salad roll first. The Caesar salad roll is great. Um, it's like eating a Caesar salad, but you have a bit of everything in every bite. Next up, the spinach and cheese quesadilla. That cheese is amazing. I love the spinach. This is so good, like the perfect party snack. Next up is the guacamole and crispy tortilla. Oh wow, look how nice that they made the tomato. <laughs> They made a tomato rose out of it. Oh, I can do this actually. And even the radish on the other side, they did the same there too. So here goes. Great guac. It's very, very nice up here. There's a nice breeze, almost slightly cool, which is great for Bangkok because you know we have hot weather every day. It's very, very refreshing. Uh, you can hear the water from the overflow of the pool, the Infinity Edge pool. Plus, you got the city over here and it's just, it's nice. Looking at all these beautiful lights. Wow, I feel privileged being here right now. Well, that was a really great meal. I would totally recommend coming up here to the Red Square. The view is beautiful, the food is really great. And I meet some friends over here too, all the way from Greece. Hi! Hi. <laughs> Good morning. I left my curtains open last night to enjoy the city night lights and also to kind of like wake up naturally today. So it worked. It's uh, 7.30 and I just woke up before my alarm. And this is what I woke up to. I'm still amazed at how quiet this hotel is. It's very peaceful. And even though out there it's bustling, it's quite busy. There are cars on the highway and the street where the hotel is located in is also quite busy with people. But inside my room, I don't hear a thing. I think that most of the people who stay in this hotel might sleep late. So I'm gonna see how busy exactly the breakfast room is this morning. Um, I have a feeling most people will be sleeping late because of the uh, nightlife in the area. Yeah, so it is pretty quiet right now. There are not many people at the breakfast room at this moment in time. So, uh, <laughs> great. We've got some juices over here. Uh, they also have some salads. There are some cakes down there and uh, fruit, yogurts. We got some hot food here and looks like Thai food. Oh yeah, it's even some hot Thai. We got congee and we got the regular breakfast favorites, uh, sausages, pork, as well as spicy pork, ham, and oh, there are baked beans too. We got cereals and we got flapjacks, bread, banana cake, croissants, and of course, coffee, espresso, black coffee, Americano, cappuccino, latte, and hot milk. You gotta use gloves when you dish up food here. So I got a bit more food than I intended. Uh, let me show you what I have. This is uh, the spicy sausage and chicken sausage. I got some beans. Uh, I'm being a bit brave with the red curries early in the morning. And I got some pad thai and a little bit of salad. And of course, cappuccino. Ah, and I just brought my omelette. And of course, no breakfast is complete without my pancakes and cake. Well, that was a very filling breakfast. I enjoyed that. And it is time to pack up and go home. And say goodbye to this wonderful view. I enjoyed my stay here. This uh, bed is very comfortable. I had a very good sleep indeed. I loved the pillows. They were very good too. And this hotel is really very well located. There is so much to do and see around here in this area. 
so if you are looking for a comfortable and clean hotel to come and stay at while you go and explore the city, then this would be it. My Greek friends gave me this one euro as a souvenir. It kind of looks like a 10 baht coin, doesn't it? I really did have such a great stay here at the Novotel Bangkok Sukhumvit 4. It really was a fantastic experience. Uh, check out Cup. This hotel really is so much more than just a place to stay and even a place to go and explore from. It is a congregation of people. I met so many people from all across the world. Uh, the United States, Australia, Greece.